Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really, really quick video on how to make a carousel horsey cooking. So I have my square cookie here and I already started putting pieces on it. So the things you will need in your video, of course, your royal icing cookie, some fondant, um, a carousel mold, colors of your choice in fondant. If you're going to use edible dust, gold, and of course, Everclear, a paintbrush, a knife, and just parchment paper and your rolling pin. So what you do is put your fondant in your mold and create your horse. Then you pull it out. You want to make sure you put some Tylos powder with your fondant so it will harden up quicker and faster. Don't put a lot. You don't need that much. Then what you're going to do is put your horsey on your parchment paper. And then if you're going to paint it gold or whatever, mix your Everclear with your dust. And go ahead and paint your horsey hair. Which is what I did so far with the tail. And in my paint pot, because I don't feel like washing it out, I just put some plastic wrap down in the paint pot and mixed it like that. What you see there, what I did. Because this is only a demo video to show you guys. This is not for anyone at this time. But it will be for someone coming up very shortly. But I just wanted to come on here and do one ahead of time. So I know how I want to do my horse. But eventually when I do do an order, I never do it how I do my demos. I always end up changing it. Which is what we always do as a baker. We always change things because something else popped in your head or in your vision. All right, so that is our horsey hair, all painted in gold. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me. If you're old to my channel, thank you guys for tuning in with me. And this is all I wanted to show you. Also, you can use your bowl molds as well. That's how I made that piece that's at the top of the fondant. I made the cookie. And then flower molds. I need to get another flower mold because I really don't like this bow I have at the top either. I need another bow mold. And then these little flowers, I, I, want, I just want some other little flowers. But in the meantime, I'm just showing you with the ones that I have right now. And you can decorate more to your horse. I'm going to put a little ring, create a little ring, like straps. So you just want to get your fondant and play with it. Cut little strips out and you can put it like around and let it droop on him. And I'm going to do that as well and paint that. Actually, I'm going to put the rings pink. The same as that cooking. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'm going to place my cookie, I meant my horsey on top of my cookie. I'm going to use some edible glue or you can use your, I'm sorry, not edible glue. You can use that but I would use royal, the royal icing because it will help it stay longer and stick. So I put everything together. You can create your horse how you want. So I put a little rings on his mouth and put it around his neck. I wasn't so sure if I wanted to bring it back here or up there. I might move it. I don't know. But it looks fine for now. Then I put a little saddle on his, on his back and I put a little rose there. And then, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to paint his little heels gold. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do with this cooking. So tell me what y'all think. Go ahead and try this. I mean, it's very easy to make cookies. Just follow my videos. Do it, do it step by step. Watch it over and over if you have to. Until you get it right. That's what I had to do. I kept doing stuff over and over until I got it right. I tried so many different methods from everybody, but some stuff wasn't working for me. And then I just figured out, did my own little measurements, played with stuff, wrote it down. I keep a book of all the stuff that I do. And that's basically it. So you try it. Instagram me. Show me what you've done. Wild Orchids event. 
Plenty on Instagram, and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a good one. Work is love.